Indian rationalist exposes superstitious godman as fraud. Recently, uh, Shyam Navam, no, excuse me, Ma Manav, Sh Shyam Nav Namav, oh, the dyslexia is killing me right now. Namav, an Indian rationalist from the state of Maharashtra, exposed a religious godman who claimed that he could perform miracles in front of the public with the um, with the challenge the priest couldn't take on. He challenged. Uh, Dhirendra Krishna Sastri, who is famous for his televised massive public appearances where he claimed he could exercise spirits, heal sicknesses, read minds, and perform other miracles. Manav challenged Sastri in, in a live event at uh, Nagpur to prove his supernatural abilities by guessing 10 people's names, contact numbers, and other personal details, just like he usually did at his performances. However, this time, Manav would pick the names. Manav would pay him 30 lakh Indian rupees, equivalent to more than uh, $50,000 USD, if Shastri was able to prove his powers. But... Sastri did not accept the challenge, and he even went on to cut his eight-day tour program short before leaving the state altogether. He was like, nope, I got to get out of here. <laughs> what? It's Born to a conservative Hindu family, Manav recalled believing in many superstitions and gurus himself until he went to college and met many people who introduced him to rationalism. Since then, Manav founded an influential anti-superstition organization that challenges godmen who claim to have powers and fight other dangerous forms of thinking. Um, Manav has even been involved in implementing the Maharashtra Prevention and Eradication of Human Sacrifice and Other in Inhuman Evil and Agori Practices in Black Magic Act of 2013, an important law used to prevent superstitious abuse. So I wanted to cover this because I think it's awesome when we cover like the work that people are doing to promote skepticism in their societies, right? And the Indian subcontinent has such a rich history of rationalism that is really under highlighted in the broader quote unquote West. Like we don't understand how rich the tradition is and how far it goes back. Um, and this guy is pretty awesome. So if you scroll down a little bit, you can see a better picture of Manav. Um, he's no, that that's that the hat? God man, dude. This is the God man. Yeah. He's freaking weird. Oh, wait, I don't no, see any other picture. He, he's right there. It. Yeah. Yeah. On the yeah. right. Um, and so I wanted to just showcase him and showcase like the cool work that people are doing in India. So I think of this guy, if here in America, like our version of it would be like James Randi, you know, like he, especially in the 1970s was a pioneer of exposing people who were charlatans and exposing people who were claiming to have these supernatural powers and swindling people and abusing people by these tricks and exposing their tricks. And when you're exposing the tricks, you're also teaching people critical thinking. You're teaching people to be skeptical in how to analyze a claim. Like it's so, so valuable. So I think it's so cool that this guy is essentially like the Indian James Randi. And he's been doing yeah. this for a long time. He, yeah, <laughs> Lehman is saying India's amazing Randi, exactly. Um, and he does, I, I wanted to showcase his work. I think it's awesome. Now I do have some disagreements with him. So his organization that is promotes anti-superstition, um, they say some things about atheism that I don't like or appreciate. Like they say that being against, like they basically has these quotes and I'm paraphrasing, basically saying like, oh, I'm not an atheist because I'm not against religion and I'm not against God. I'm against the abuse of God and religion for financial gain and power, you know, and it, I don't it's know. fine I because it's I, I mean, I, I mean, like it's, I'm, we disagree with him. We don't have to, we don't sub, have to support a rationalist. Um, only, I mean, I, I know you didn't say that. I just want to clarify mm -hmm. for the audience. Right. So um, there are people who are fighting superstition who are not, atheists right so there's one superstition that they don't seem to have a problem with which is god but we don't have to be um 
supporting somebody only if they are 100% in agreement with us, exactly. right? We could, yeah. we could see, we could, we could see valuable work. This person seems to not be an atheist, not be for atheism, but it, but he's doing really good work against other forms of superstition. And you know, if, for you, for us to be Puritans or like, oh, you have to be completely in line with our narrative for us to appreciate mm -hmm. your work, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. So we could yeah. acknowledge his his. Uh, the value of what he's doing with that constantly agree he actually based on completely what I was agree. Reading, he does seem like he actually is an atheist he just doesn't he seems to have his own ideas about what that means in like yes he doesn't atheist, seem to like to call that, but that's fine that's fine he doesn't yeah know. yeah yeah know. he might be an he might be an atheist himself but as he assumes that the word atheist means somebody that goes anti-religion right yeah exactly. also it might be like it's good it's good that we have different kinds of people like people who are attacking everything religion god superstition but for some people that might be too much to take so yeah. it's good it's good for us to have some people who are like i don't i don't have any issues with your god and your religion but this guy so for people who might be like people like us might be too too big of a pill to swallow we have like something a little bit mild there for pilaya yeah, not not these guys. These guys are attacking my gods and goddesses. You are respecting my gods and goddesses, but are fighting superstition. So yeah, e easier to take this guy. Take this guy. Armin, you, you are know, so I've on point. That is lit basically his entire argument, saying this is what he thinks is appropriate for Indian society in this day and age. That's yeah. that's basically what he said in an interview I read. Um, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, of course, but that was how I interpreted his point. Um, and so the, what was so interesting, though, the background between, so, you know, he, like, you know, the amazing Randy, Manav challenged this Shastri godman dude, and the godman, he just packed up and fled the state. He didn't even, like, respond. He was just like, I just got to get out of here. So, yeah. okay, you can't do what someone says that you can do, even when he's offering you a large financial reward, like... That's sketchy and he got death threats because of this he's gotten death threats because of the rationalist. all the work that he yeah the rationalist um in fact he talked about how in 2015 there were a series of assassinations against indian rationalists by hindu supremacists which is so interesting because 2015 is the same year that all the bangladeshi rationalists and atheist activists were getting assassinated in the street by islamists it was like what was going on in 2015 and then, so Manav, the rationalist, he tried to file police reports against Shastri because Shastri is promoting alternative medicines and superstition and like magic and all this stuff. And this is actually against certain federal laws and it's against certain state laws in Maharashtra. But the government decided to do nothing about it, even though it is a violation. They're like, oh, there's nothing to see here. He didn't do anything wrong, blah, blah, blah. And this guy who's a godman, one, he's like 26 years old. People like worship him kind of as a god, which it's like so bonkers to me to think about someone like my own age, like being worshiped like this. Like it's kind of mm -hmm. just boggles my mind. But this godman guy is like super pro Hindutva. He supports the extrajudicial bulldozing of Muslim homes, you know, wow. in, in revenge for other random Muslims, you know stone pelting or communal violence da, 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 completely against the law like and so basically he he has a lot of influence and powerful circles and he's receiving protection from the bjp even though a lot of what he I, does is against i have a question laws. yeah why is he wearing a ship for a hat yo his hat is so weird i've it's, never seen a hat like this before i've seen it on pirates but they're not the <laughs> is that does that not look like a red kind of honestly of i think it's cooler than a pirate hat though it's unusual yeah, it but i do think it's cooler <laughs> it does look i mean if i was superstitious i saw someone with a hat like that i would like okay that guy is holy i don't know what you're wearing that seems so yeah. alien to me that there, must, there must be, be something holy. There must be something special about you because I haven't seen anything like this. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's probably part of it. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the point of hats. That's the point of funny hats. It needs to be like, yeah, there's something weird about you. Are you holy? <laughs> like, something, are you godlike? I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. Just stand out. 
Uh, that is a fine hat, people are saying. <laughs> that hat is kind of legendary. I agree when I hear it. it. You know, I don't like the dude. It's a little bit funky. But that's I what want one now. Can we have one? Can we have atheist hats, special atheist hats, and we could wear them on the show? Well, I think for it, it would be the pasta strainer if you're a pastafarian. But it doesn't look, I mean, it doesn't look It's not look as like cool. This. It looks goofy. I mean, we're pastafarians are pirates. You're right. Oh, my God. They're also pirates. We have more in common with this man than we thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Let's get, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yo. Okay. Um. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> Lisa, I, leave it insane. Atheists will never be taken seriously until we have our own ridiculous hats. Yes. Exactly. My friends. Oh my God, my dear friends. We need to start thinking. We need to start working with a costume designer. Okay. We need a headdress. We need a headdress, and we are not going to be getting the respect we deserve until we have our own headdress so we need to start thinking creatively i want to see sketches i want to see ideas i think i think we should go with like a pirate hat like that guy but with decorations but in a different color because saffron and red has been taken by hindus mm. i think green maybe something something that commands attention that's for sure and instead of you know instead of the red dot we could do a green circle. Oh, ooh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay, it's starting to come together. Yes, yes. All right. Can we? <laughs> so Asian American is saying special hats became a thing to hide receding hairlines. Yeah. So yeah. You're not. You're, you're not. I. You know what? I don't think you're entirely wrong, especially when it comes to the British. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.